Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we are ready to go back downstairs. No, we're not. We have to go this way. I'm trying to get that molded to spawn again, wondering if it's going to. But it's not. But, uh, yeah, before we go back downstairs, I forgot that treasure that's in this room. It's kind of silly of me. I'm also silly as thinking we're going to go downstairs when, uh, past gameplay me remembered that we had to go back here. Yes, I'm referring to myself in the third person. Alright, so we got steroids for that. So what steroids do is it increases your maximum health. However, it also fully restores your health. So I'm going to use this a bit more strategically. Ideally, you want to use it when you've taken quite a bit of damage. Now, it can be tricky to do that when you're in the middle of battle because you can't just press R1 and use steroids like you can just press R1 and use one of your med bottles. So you actually have to go into your inventory. So it can be kind of uh, difficult to use in the middle of a fight. But after you kill an enemy, if you're low on health, then that would be a good time to use the steroids. It's all about getting the maximum value out of our stuff. Oh my moldy goodness. This is This is a lot here. Okay, we go over here. We have handgun ammo. Uh, my other goal for this section is I hope to use only eight shotgun shells, or even less. Uh, but that means I'm going to have to fight these guys with the handgun. I'm not too worried about the handgun, or using handgun bullets. We got a nice headshot, but then it gets... Yeah, these body shots are not doing us any favors. Okay. Three headshots and a body shot. I don't like how inconsistent uh, the health is on the molded creatures either. Sometimes they take three shots to the head, sometimes four, sometimes more, and there's no real tell signs between uh, which molded is going to take how much damage. I mean, there are a few different... I knew there was another one in here. want to go for the headshots, and then combine that... I only got two full headshots on him, right? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, very inconsistent at the amount of damage. Now, in this next room, I recommend using the... Yeah, we're going to combine and make another med bottle. You definitely want to have at least three. Um, or at least two at the bare minimum, but probably three. I recommend using the shotgun because there are three... Ooh, we took him out in one shot. Sometimes he, he goes down in one shot to the shotgun. Sometimes he doesn't. Again, inconsistency. But there are three molded enemies in here. And if they gang up on you... Oh my. That was kind of more of a body shot. Uh, okay, I would actually want to finish this guy with the handgun. If I can... Oh, how is he... See this? How is he not dead? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, we got him. Okay, and it is the... Uh, <laughs> look at our screen. This is the perfect time to use the steroids, so let's go ahead and use them. That's fine. Okay, this is actually awesome, because I only need four shotgun shells for the boss battle. At least, I only plan on using four. So we only use three. But yeah, if you don't use the shotgun in this room... Uh, the three moldeds can very easily, and they will, team up on you, and then you've got, like, two or even all three of them coming at you at once, and you just get overwhelmed. I have had that happen to me before. So, yeah, I highly recommend the shotgun for this room. Just checking around for some more items. I don't think we're going to get any more. And, uh, we did pick up strong chem fluid there. Oh, crust buckets. I need the key from the room that we skipped earlier. I... I you want to get that key before you get in here. Otherwise, you face massive disappointment like I just did. Okay, so to get the key, we have to go... I don't want to use shotgun anymore. I saved a shell. 
Okay, there should be a molded right in here, right to the... Where is he? Now, if you had come in here the first time, when I told you to, uh, you would see a molded standing in this room. However, now that we're coming here a bit later, the molded... Well, it's actually going to drop from the ceiling on us uh, when we get farther into the room. It's not going to be nice. This thing gives you a hint for... Uh, how to solve the puzzle in this room. Three A's and a handprint. Oh, another strong chem fluid. Uh, I'll discuss what we can do with those. I hear him. And I think he's going to spawn in front of me, but he's not. He's spawning behind me, so I'm getting frantic, and this is not what I want to be doing. Okay, we got to kill this guy so we can do our puzzle and get our key. Oh, I hate how they can sprint up on you when you shoot him in the head. I also hate that we don't have melee. That we don't have melee attacks. Uh, we're gonna have to use a med bottle. That's fine. That still gives us two for the boss. Which I don't really want to use more than that on the boss, anyways. If I do, it means I'm doing really bad and should probably just start over anyway. So you'll notice that name has three A's in it, Tamara. All the rest of them don't, and there's your handprint, and that's going to trigger that. Now, the guy that... there's going to be a molded guy that comes out, okay? I'm going to spoil that for you. And I think I'm actually going to go back up and save after picking up the key. I'll no, just go that way. Okay. You don't actually want to fight this guy. He's got, like, this big super arm. I'll call him a super arm, molded. He's got a lot of health, so just, uh, yeah, let him spawn, grab the dissection room key, and get out of here. Not even gonna worry about shutting the door. Okay, where's my exit? There it is. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go right up. The guy with the super mutated arm, oh, they're all kind of mutants, they're moldy things. Uh, he has a lot of health. So, yeah, I don't want to waste ammo or time on him. I'll end up taking a bunch of damage, using a bunch of ammo, and it's just not a good thing to do. Now, strong chem fluid. There's, again, four things you can make with it, with your base items. Combine it with an herb, you get a strong first aid med. It's basically a full heal. However, I find the um, the first aid med bottles, the the medium-sized bottles, I find those to do enough healing uh, for my purposes, so I I want to save these strong chem fluids for other things. For instance, if you combine it with gunpowder, you get enhanced handgun ammo. Uh, ten bullets of that, and it's, it's really good. Uh, I'm not going to make some right now, but uh, we will certainly be using some later on in the game. If you combine it with... Um, well, there's two other items that we haven't gotten yet. But basically, if you combine it with the two other base items, base items being completely unusable in their form, you have to combine them with chem fluid, and you do not get enough chem fluid to combine with all of the base items that you will be picking up. Um, except herbs. Herbs you can use as their base item. They restore a piddly amount of health. So, yeah, that's why you want to go for the first aid bottles. And there's our dog head. Awesome. Well, let's open up this and get more shotgun shells. I like shotgun shells. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Okay, so we grab... Oh, no. I was going to be your father. Oh, no. Now she says he will be her father. No, 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 no. no. I will find him. And I will make him suffer. And you, my friend, will help me. Ah. Uh, so, we have to deal with Jack in order to get the last dog head. All right. Then I guess we're going to go deal with Jack. I'm just glancing around for more ads. I don't think there's any more in this, uh room. Well, there are on the other side, but we're not over there yet. 
And I'm going slowly here because I'm expecting an enemy to pop out, but there, there's no enemy. But do remember these words for later. I thought there might have been a bobblehead around here, but uh, I guess not. Okay, checking my healing items. Okay, we should be good. Actually, we'll end up getting a uh, another med bottle. Yeah, that herb that we picked up there, plus... There's no danger right now. So don't, don't even worry about Jack. Uh, plus this chem fluid, so that can get us another first aid med. Yeah, and for the most part, I'm going to use the chem fluids to combine with herbs to get the uh, first aid meds. That'll be the main use of those. There'll be a couple other times where I'll use the chem fluid for something else, but only for a little while. That'll make sense later. Uh, so we have this body bag thing. I don't want to know what's in it. But uh, clearly we can use that as sort of a feature. And I like how they introduce that to us before making us need have to use that like in, in a battle situation. So if we come down here, we get gunpowder. That's fine. We've got, we've got so much gunpowder. We probably have almost enough gunpowder to last us the rest of the game. That's how much we have. I only want to combine gunpowder with the strong chem fluid. Alright, so to trigger the boss battle, we interact with the red dog head. And there's Jack, and he's got Florence with him. So, now we must deal with them. He... That's, that's not Florence, that's an axe. Oh, okay, this... This is not... Okay, remember when I said... Okay, I want to use three shotgun boy. shells here. And I'll use one more at an obvious. There we go. Good shot. Good shot. Okay, go back to the handgun. Oh, that missed him. Okay, we need to use healing. Uh, there's two major points in this game where I really tend to struggle. One of them being the first time you need to escape from Jack when you have just a bunch of dead ends. Ooh, when he's down like this, this is where I need to use the uh, fourth shotgun shell. Okay, now he's angry. But what you need to do is come up here and see there's this chainsaw we can grab. We're going to grab the chainsaw. Uh, this boss battle is the other major part that I tend to not do well at. Okay, so what you gotta do, stun him, and then slash him. And then you can get into, like, this cool chainsaw duel with him. And I, again, my franticness. And you can uh, use your block command and end up blocking, like... Again, like 80% of the damage that these chainsaw swings would do. Oh, but he caught me when uh, I had to restart the chainsaw, so that wasn't good. Yeah, he's got this giant hedge clipper chainsaw weapon. It's, this is insanity! This is also insanity! Oh my gosh. Uh, but once you do that, uh, then you can... Oh. Yeah, you, you basically hold your elbow and you can do the thrust attack to just do continuous damage on him. And we just have to keep doing that sort of thing until Jack decides he's dead. Ooh, we got him stunned so we can get a couple more hits in. Oh, I gotta restart this chainsaw. That's the tough part when you have to restart it. Sometimes I only, when I'm battling Jack here, I find I only need to restart the chainsaw like once per battle. And sometimes it's like two or three times. I don't know. I'm not very good at this particular battle. Oh, I was hoping to stun him there. Okay. I'm surprised all the body bags are still intact at this point. Because he can, if he slashes them enough, they will like completely evaporate? Is that the right word I'm looking for? 
They'll be they'll be gone. In the long run. Okay, that should be And he can also destroy the pillar. And I have to restart my chainsaw at the worst times possible. Of course I do. Alright, get a couple hits in on him. Oh, we're gonna do that again. Don't let his uh, crazy weapon, like, psych you out here. Well, I mean, it probably does. I... I have no more healing items. This is not good. That means, well, I can't heal, so I gotta go for it here. I mean, blocking... If you use the block command, it blocks way more damage than you think that blocking a chainsaw uh, would actually be able to do. But, uh, yeah, we didn't beat him. In fact, uh, we're going to be showing you the third attempt here, because it took me three attempts to uh, beat this guy. The second attempt, nothing else major happened. So, yeah, we. what's really nice is the checkpointing in this game. So we had a checkpoint right there, and... Uh, so yeah, we're not really losing a whole lot. Which is why I said if you end up using more healing items or more ammo than you would like, um, just let yourself die and restart at that last checkpoint. Uh, I'll go down here and grab the gunpowder again. Why not? We'll get the shotgun right. We're just going to start with the shotgun. Because he doesn't really care about the pistol. Yeah, I tried to start with the pistol last time. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. You want the shotgun to start with to stun him. And then use the pistol to finish. Yeah. It takes a lot to stun that jack. Well, or you could do that. Oh, I didn't get it. Clear headshot out in there. And a few shots with the pistol. Why aren't you going down? I really don't care how much handgun ammo I use here. Uh, because after this point, why have you not gone down yet? You should have gone down and exposed your... Where is he? Oh, gosh, he's coming up behind me. Uh, that's not... This is all not what I want you to do. Where are you? Yeah, there's no way... Oh, there we go. Last blast. There's no way that a, uh, blocking that with your hands, that axe with your hands like that, should reduce that much damage. It's, it's silly. Kind of silly like this chainsaw dueling... Oh, that didn't stun him. Okay, well... That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, the second, the second battle, not much different happened. I don't know what else different you could choose, but yeah. Let's start with the shotgun on him, and then use the final shotgun blast to uh, hit him when he's exposed. If you don't do enough damage to him the first time he's exposed, he might not go and grab the, uh, his chainsaw scissors here. And then you'll have to continue battling him again with the axe before you can get this. The uh, chainsaw here has infinite ammo, but it, it could need restarts. And there you see uh, one of the bags splattering. Oh, yeah, we gotta start with that. I like some of the different dialogues you can get. It doesn't change the uh, actual gameplay story or anything, but uh, it's a nice touch. Okay, stop that. Oh good, we got him down again, so you want to use your thrust attack there. Oh cool, we got him already. Uh, this sequence will have... To me, this is just so unrealistic at this point. There is no way that much stuff could be coming out of someone. No, you're you're dead. Don't even pretend. And then a bunch of Do me a favor. 
and stay dead. Nasty goo comes out. Ugh. Now to get out of here, the only thing you can do is use your chainsaw on this bar. And while the chainsaw would be really nice to have as a permanent item, yeah, the game's not that nice to us. So yeah, the the super good chainsaw only for this battle. Kind of a nice touch though on the design part. They don't they don't want to load you up with too many super powerful reusable weapons. Uh, oh, the reason I wanted to use less than eight, or I should say eight or less, shotgun shells down here is we're going to be getting a new shotgun by the end of this video. In fact, um, yeah, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get that. Uh, check my inventory real quick. We still have a med bottle, so that fight went very well for me. Well, at least the third one, third attempt did. Um, also, since we beat Jack in that battle, there is absolutely no danger right now anywhere in the entire house. You are free to explore everything you want. At least there shouldn't be any danger. Don't prove me wrong. Yeah, no danger. Come up here and there's someone like playing a tuba or something. Now, see, you can't point your gun at Grandma. Just wanted to demonstrate that. It's not nice to shoot old ladies. Alright, inventory management. Um, we do need the shotgun, because we're actually going to go get the broken shotgun. Because we're going to be able to repair that. I shouldn't need the handgun, but I'm going to take it anyways. I don't think we're going to completely fill up our inventory. We're also going to go a few minutes longer on this part, uh, just because we've got some uh, item collection to do, and I want to make sure we get that other shotgun that I promised you. But in case something does go horribly wrong, I've decided to bring along the handgun. But yeah, we're not going to need it. So we take the broken shotgun. Now, if you reloaded your shotgun, which, by the way, I recommend you don't reload that shotgun, uh, those bullets will stay in that shotgun when you put it on the pedestal there. You'll, you'll no longer have access to those bullets unless you use the shotgun. That's why I said I wanted to use eight or less. I wanted to reload the shotgun once and have that be the only time I reload the shotgun. We'll never use that shotgun again. Uh, you will be able to pick it up again later in the game, so you can have both shotguns. You don't need both shotguns. Um, yeah, there's there's a variety of other things we need rather than two weapons that use the same type of ammo. So we come out here. There's no danger out here, so don't worry about it, even though it looks uh, menacing and scary. So just uh, explore this place for items, but... Specifically, you want to make sure you go here. You see, there's this, uh... uh there, there's that siding that you can pull off. And we actually saw this box in the beginning of the game when we first escaped from Jack. And in this box, we get a repair kit. You can use that to repair a broken weapon. Uh, there's a broken handgun and a broken shotgun. I recommend repairing the broken shotgun because this shotgun is really good. And when you repair it, it comes with two bullets. So that's very nice. Yeah, it only carries two bullets at a time, but it does a lot more damage than the uh, other shotgun that we could have. So, yeah, I highly recommend you get that shotgun. Check in here for a lockpick. Uh, we're not going to use that lockpick for a while. Even though there are a couple spots we could go back and use it. And there's an ancient coin here in this uh, little pot. There is another little area we can get to right now, but we can't actually solve the puzzle that's there. We don't have the item we need. Uh, I always think that there's like an item out there. Um, just checking over here. I know with all the plant life, it's it's easy for them to hide herbs in there. 
uh, check over here. I am still going to end up missing a couple items, uh, and there's one in the house that I missed, but we're going to pick those up at the beginning of the next video. And yeah, see, there's this... Yeah, you got to solve the, the shadow box puzzle in order to get that treasure. But if we come around here... Yeah, there's that big scary trailer. Oh, and there's shotgun shells underneath the trailer there. Very nice, four of them. However, when you go into... Well, before we go into the trailer, there's more uh, fluid. And there's a bobblehead under the steps there. So we'll take our knife. There we go. I like the sound effects in this game, like moving your items around or uh, managing your inventory or like uh, when you first pull up your, your handgun. I like the little sound it makes. Yeah, the trailer is actually a safe room. And you can see there's some different things in here. There's a magnum, uh, and that takes nine. Nine what, you ask? Nine ancient coins. That's right. This is where we're going to be using those ancient coins. And there's also two more cages here. We've got some uh, steroids and a stabilizer. What the uh, stabilizer does is it increases our reloading speed permanently. Not sure how injecting yourself with a stabilizer would do that, but whatever. Uh, there's the broken handgun. Don't worry, you will be able to repair that handgun later in the game. But uh, I wanted to repair the shotgun first. Now, for some inventory management, we're not going to use the shotgun in the upcoming area. Yeah, I know, all that hype about getting the extra, the new shotgun and all that. And we're not even going to use it for a little while. That's because the next area is really only going to require... I want to pull out the ancient coins. We're going to get the uh, stabilizer and the steroids. And we're going to pull out the burner fuel that we picked up, because we're going to be needing that soon. And other than that, I don't think I really want much else. Uh, I still have... I, have, I still have two med bottles in the inventory, or in the crate there, and I'm going to carry two, so that should be good. Uh, so, we interact with the bottom one, and, well, we put our coins in. You have to put them in one at a time. Go back and forth a little bit. So, yeah, when I... my first full playthrough of this game, I ended up not getting the magnum right away the same as what I'm doing here. We will be able to get the Magnum still later on in the game. And in fact, I ended up not really even using the Magnum at all because, well, I'll complain about that when we get towards the end. So yeah, I ended up not even needing the Magnum, so I don't feel any pressure whatsoever to try and get the Magnum right now. We're going to save it, and I'll see you next time.